And to that controversial question, does he believe the president was born in the USA? Everybody that even gives any hint of being a birther, a word you didn't use, even a little bit of a hint like, gee, you know, maybe, just maybe this much of a chance, they label them as an idiot. Let me tell you, I'm a really smart guy. I was a really good student at the best school in the country. The reason I have a little doubt, just a little, is because he grew up and nobody knew him. When you interview people, if I ever got the nomination, if I ever decide to run, you may go back and interview people from my kindergarten, they'll remember me. Nobody ever comes forward. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. It's very strange. The whole thing is very strange. Dad, what about this? You recently said about President Obama, I'm going to quote you, he grew up and nobody knew him. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. The whole thing is very strange. What are you driving at there? Are you a birther, well, Donald? Okay. Let, me, let me just tell you, that I was a really good student at the best school. I'm not like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst idiots. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I, I think he probably he have to? because I have to, and everybody else has to. Whoopi, I'm sure why that's what you can't show? Show excuse birth me. <laughs> why? No, excuse me. I really believe there's a birth certificate. Why? Look, she's smiling. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? And you know what? I wish he would because I think it's a terrible pal that's hanging over him. He should show his birth certificate. The other thing, if you go back to my first grade, my kindergarten, people remember me. Nobody from those early years. That's not true. We have pictures of them. There, what are you talking about? Okay, show There's, me a picture. There are kids no, 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 in Hawaii. There are people in Hawaii. I've there seen are people that he's grown I've up. Seen no, I little haven't kids. seen early pictures. But more importantly, yeah. why doesn't he? And, and you know what? I think he probably was, but the word probably would be... Why the did word he have to defend because himself you're against, you know why? against uh, an accusation? Because, because if you're going to be the president... Because if you're going to be the president of the United States, it says very profoundly that you have to be born in this country. But did any president be president? Did George Bush show me he's the president? Everybody. 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 Everybody.
I have a birth certificate. You perhaps have a birth certificate. Where is the birth certificate? It's, you're born in this country, and, you know, to the best of my knowledge, people have birth certificates. What do you think is going on in Hawaii, where Governor Neil Abercrombie first ordered both the state attorney general and health department director to release more information about Obama's purported birth certificate there, ASEP, but later apparently abandoned all of it? Well, it is an amazing situation. And then the governor said, but I remember when he was born. I said, what? You remember when he was born? You actually remember when somebody was born? It sounded very unusual that a Democratic governor would remember when somebody was born. 50 years ago. You're talking about 50 years ago. And so I, I think it's a very strange situation. I assume that he was born in the United States. I assume he was probably born in Hawaii. But I have to get rid of the word assume, because you can't assume. If somebody wants to run for president, you have to be born in this country. And when the family argues about which hospital it was, because they're not sure, as has been reported by you and others, by the way, uh, and then you don't have a birth certificate, and even the article in the Houston paper uh, was put in a number of days after the birth. It wasn't put in the identical day. It was put in a number of days after the birth. It's sort of a strange situation. Obama promised to run the most transparent White House in history. Has he lived up to that? Well, certainly he hasn't in terms of his birth, and I guess a lot of college records and other records haven't been produced as I understand it, and that's a little unusual. Why wouldn't you produce your records? So there's certainly not a lot of transparency, certainly not the kind. I remember when he was running, he was talking, to be, uh, talking about being so transparent. But if you look at the records, there's many, many things, as an example, client lists that haven't been produced and lobbying lists that haven't been produced. So there's a lot of things that haven't been produced for somebody that's supposed to be so transparent. So there is something very strange going on. He spent a lot of money to keep this out of print. There's something very, very strange going on, a lot of legal fees. Why can't he produce a birth certificate? You've never seen George W. Bush's birth certificate, have you? I would say that he, no, I haven't, but I'm sure he has one, and I guarantee he was born here, and I hope that Barack Obama was born here. But he could end the whole controversy in fact, you know what I did yesterday was very interesting. I said, where's my birth certificate? Get me my birth certificate. And they brought it to my office. I have it. It's on my desk. It's on the top of my desk. Hasn't the state of Hawaii, don't they have online his birth certificate? Aren't there contemporaneous newspaper accounts of his being born in Hawaii? No, the newspaper accounts came in after, days after he was born. Hey, look, Geraldo, just so you understand, I hope he has a birth certificate. I hope he was born in this country. But we shouldn't be talking about the word hope. Hope shouldn't enter into it. He's born in. Don't you have an incredible ability to find the hot button issue? We don't. I don't know if I do or not. I think this issue is a very interesting issue. I find it interesting. And you know, it's a very interesting thing. Uh, the fact is that I've had a lot of people saying, and, and I'm talking about very conservative. I'm a very conservative person. I've had a lot of friends of mine that are very conservative on the conservative side say, ah, skip that issue, Donald. It's not a good issue for you. Skip it. And I say, why is that not a good issue? If he was born in this country, he's got to have some proof. So what is your intention? How far are you going to press this? Look, Geraldo, if he's not born, and there is a chance, it might be small, and it might not be so small. There is a chance that he wasn't born in this country. Geraldo, if it were you, and this issue's been raging for years now, the birthers and the issue, why wouldn't you show it? If it exists, why wouldn't you show it? And then you end the issue. I hope the issue ends. And frankly, I don't want to be right on this issue. And I'm not even saying I am right. I just want to see the birth certificate. Don't you worry that it's a huge distraction from the issues that are pressing us from every side? No, I don't, because it's a very strong point that you have to be born in this country. I don't think that's a huge disruption. I think you have to be born in this country. Donald Trump, as always, extremely provocative. Uh, you have, uh, again, set off a firestorm, and I appreciate you getting on the telephone. Now, you know, this guy either has a birth certificate or he doesn't. And I didn't think this was such a big deal, but I will tell you, it's turning out to be a very right. big deal because people now are calling me from all over saying, please don't give up on this issue. If you weren't born in this country, you cannot be right. president. But do you so, think he was born in this country? I, I am really 
concerned. And I will tell you, when this all started a week ago, I assumed, hey, look. Donald, nice to have you join us. Thank you, Greta. All right, Donald, you're stirring up so much trouble. Every time I turn on the TV, whether it's on The View or other places, um, you are demanding a birth certificate from the president. Why aren't you satisfied that he has been born here in the United States? Well, the fact is, they ask me the question, and I say, I want to see his birth certificate. It's very simple. Somebody asked me today, could I see your birth certificate? I had it in my hands in less than an hour. You have a birth certificate. People that are born in this country have birth certificates. So I wanted to see his birth certificate. I mentioned that on The View. And Whoopi, who I like very much, who's a friend of mine, I did a movie cameo for her, as a matter of fact. But Whoopi said, oh, but if that were a white man, you wouldn't be asking that question. I said, what does this have to do with race? Has absolutely nothing to do with race. The fact is that if you look at what's happened with respect to this birth certificate issue, he doesn't have it. He spent millions of dollars on lawyers trying to get out of the issue. They give what's called a certificate of live birth, which doesn't even have a signature on it, and anybody can get a certificate of live birth. It's nothing to do with a birth certificate. And they are really reeling. Now, they talk all sorts of things. You don't have a doctor or a nurse. Here's the President of the United States, and no doctor, no nurse, nobody's come forward saying, I delivered that beautiful baby. There's so many things. Even if you look at the newspaper, the so-called newspaper article in Hawaii, that was days after he was born. So that wasn't like when he was born. And if you really think about a couple of things, whoever took a newspaper advertisement, and these were poor people, these aren't rich people, whoever took a newspaper advertisement to announce the birth of your baby? Now, I don't, I don't think you know of anybody, and I know of nobody, and I know poor people and rich people, but I've never heard of taking a newspaper ad to advertise that you have a baby. So that's one. And then you have this beautiful governor, a Democratic governor, that says 50 years ago, he remembers, okay, he remembers when Obama was born. I'll bet he didn't even know the parents 50 years ago. I think it's absolutely insane. What he's doing is taking a bullet for the party by making a statement that I remember. So I've been in this, into this issue for a couple of weeks, and I'm starting to get very concerned. The fact is, if you're not born in this country, you cannot run for president. If Arnold Schwarzenegger wanted to run for president, he's a friend of mine, he's a good man. If he wanted to run for president, he can't because he wasn't born in this country. Here's my now, when you were on The View and they didn't walk out, which they should have because they walked out on me and they should have stayed, you were way, way worse than I was on that view. You were hammering the birth certificate. Now, we very early on did an investigation about Barack Obama's birth certificate. And what the factor found out was there were two announcements the week he was uh, born in both Honolulu newspapers saying that he was born. Okay? That is impossible. That is impossible to make happen if he had not been born in the hospital. So therefore, I just put it to bed. I said he was born in Honolulu, all right? The two newspapers documented it. His mother was a hippie. His father was a guy from Kenya who split. There couldn't have been a sophisticated, what is he, baby Jesus? There was a sophisticated conspiracy to smuggle this baby back into the country. So I just dismissed it. But you made a big deal out of it. Bill, I grew up with Wall Street geniuses what they do in terms of fraud and how they change documents. And I'll tell you something, if you notice, those dates were three days later. And, and here's what I ask people. Who puts announcements? Here are two poor people, a man and a woman with no money. They have a baby. There's announcements in the newspaper. The grandparents Excuse me. The grandparents. Nelson Rockefeller doesn't put announcements. Sure, there are Who, birth announcements all the time. I've, I've never seen one. Okay. Really? No, no I've they're, never they're seen common. One. I've never seen one. But why but is this important at, to you? Uh, because if you are going to be the president of the United States, you have to be born in this country. And there is a doubt as to whether or not Come he was on. born. You really get, ago, you get a lot of attention raising the question, but I don't think you believe Two weeks ago, yeah. I felt like probably he was born in the country. Today, it's possibly. I'm telling you, it's changed. I've seen too many things. Why did Whoopi Goldberg get so angry about you? I don't know. And then she, said, then she said to me, and she likes me. She said, Donald, I love you. But she actually said, if it were a white man. Now, I know they asked for Bush's birth certificate. I know for a fact they asked for John McCain's birth certificate. So why did she make I it racial? Had, why I don't did know. She, she brought race into right. it. Right.
She brings race into it. What can I tell you? Is Donald Trump serious about a run for the White House? Will his reignition of the birther controversy prove a viable strategy? Donald Trump joins us now by the phone. Uh, Mr. Trump, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Well, let's just start right there. Uh, if you want to be taken seriously as a presidential candidate, do you think this issue of the president's birth is the most serious issue facing the country that you could use your considerable profile and popularity to raise? Or does it feed into the perception that this is just kind of a sideshow? Well, I do think it's a serious issue, Savannah, but I also think that a lot of people, frankly, like yourselves and Joe and Mika, uh, they bring it up as the first question, Bill O'Reilly who's on tonight, and we're going to discuss China and other things. But the fact is that Bill O'Reilly, the first question he asked me was about the Bertha. Well, well, wait a minute, Mr. Trump, but you, you are a sophisticated consumer of media. You know <laughs> that if you raise this issue, that is going to catch headlines. You could downplay it. Well, no, you could, I am embracing you could end the this issue. right now if you wanted to. I am embracing the issue, and I'm proud of the issue. I think it's such a nerve yeah. that every time I talk to you and Chuck, who I respect dearly and greatly as you know i think you're two great pros but look at the first question you asked me it's about the birth why don't you ask me about china why don't you ask me about the fact that opec is ripping us off why don't you ask me about the fact that the arab league is asking us to fight and they're not paying us for it i mean well, I'd let love me ask you, to you this that, though why don't, the no. oh, wait a minute that's but why, let me ask you this why do you believe this when do you really believe that the clinton machine circa 2007 actually didn't spend some time looking in this do you really believe that john mccain and the clinton campaign really would have rolled over and participated in this grand conspiracy that's what i've never understood about this it's not that the, much the, of a conspiracy it's very simple. it's an incredible conspiracy it's really Mr. Chuck, not, chuck chuck it's really <laughs> not if you look at what's taken place it's really not he came in he was we all agree he was born, okay? We're all so happy that he was born. Okay, now, the ad was put in. It's not really an unusual ad. for people to Wait put ads in. But it was three Be days later. Birth notices Excuse and me, death notices it was, are, are standard. It was three days later, three days <laughs> after the fact. Many things could have happened, and he doesn't have a birth certificate. And his family is arguing over which hospital he was born in. The family doesn't even know the name of the hospital. No nurses, no doctors, nobody ever came forward. And by the way, there's a huge difference between a birth certificate and a certificate of birth. One confirms the records and records the newborn's identity in great detail, and the other one just said somebody was born. So it's a this, huge difference. But okay. you know that if you have a certificate of birth, you can't get a driver's license. Do you know that if you have a certificate of birth, you can't get a marriage license? Can, can I just ask a question? So yes. just so we understand your theory here. Are we going to get to China soon? Yeah. I do want to get to China. Yes, although I have to say, Mr. Trump, this, you, this issue irritates you, and yet you're clinging no, to the theory in the No, it doesn't irritate me at all. It irritates of... everybody else, and I don't understand it. Oh. Okay, but I well, will tell get... you, a okay. poll just came out where 50-some-odd percent of the Republicans think that he wasn't born in this country. So obviously okay. there are a lot of smart people thinking maybe it's so. Well, let me why ask you this. Savannah, so let me... Savannah, Savannah yeah. why doesn't he issue his birth certificate? He did. He did. He put it on the website. But, but let me ask you something, Mr. Trump. I just want to make sure I understand the theory here. You're saying he was born somewhere else. I, I suppose you're thinking maybe it was Kenya. And the parents called Hawaii to have the birth announcement placed in no, anticipation in, that a few decades birth. later. Savannah, he could have come in after birth, and a lot of people might want to be registered for purposes of hospitalization, for purposes of welfare, for purposes they might want to be registered as a citizen of this country. Wasn't so the birth announcement after, contemporaneous me, with his birth? People, no, because it wasn't filed contemporaneously. It was filed sometime later. The, the and news people, and the newspaper. Excuse me, excuse me. I've grown up watching some of the great thieves of the world, some of the great, most dishonest people. This is peanuts compared to what some of these bad guys do. So um, don't uh, tell me. I want to see the birth certificate, Savannah. It's very simple. Not a certificate of birth, which means almost nothing, which people can get very easily. A well, birth certificate that's all I have for is my very two hard kids. to get. My two kids, are they only got certificates of live birth from the District of Columbia. But I want to talk about... I'll bet you that's not right. I'll bet you that if you go to the is. hospital where your children were born, you yeah. will get from them the approval to go down to the Department of Health and your kids have birth certificates. 
Okay. Unless unless born, let, I want to ask you unless about... they, Chuck, unless they weren't born in this country, which I assume they were, I <laughs> will get a birth certificate for your children. Thank okay. you. I want to... New NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows a surprising surge for one potential Republican candidate, and it is a name that you will recognize. Donald Trump is in a tie for second with Mike Huckabee among likely voters in a Republican primary. Mitt Romney leads. But among Republicans who consider themselves Tea Party supporters, Trump is the number one choice. On Wednesday, we sat down with him for an exclusive interview, and I began by asking Trump about his potential run. Positive news for you, this new poll, new NBC News, Wall Street Journal poll that shows you surging to second place among potential GOP candidates for 2012. Why do you think that you are connecting with voters? I think that I connect with people because I happen to be smart. I happen to have a lot of common sense. I happen to know what I'm doing. I built a great company. And by the way, if I run, I look so forward to filing a declaration because it's it's a great company. I built a great company and I'll make that decision sometime prior to June. What are you waiting but for? I think what are you I waiting for? Well, I hate to say it. I have the number one show on NBC. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, fellas. Is that a correct statement? I mean, The Apprentice is doing great, The Celebrity Apprentice. And I am not allowed to run. What does that have to do with it? has a lot to do. It sounds so trivial and I hate to even bring it up, but I'm not allowed to run during the show. No, you're not allowed to have a show on and be a declared candidate. Thank you, pizza pie. <laughs> it's a great show, and it's got phenomenal ratings. And until that show is over, I can't declare, because otherwise NBC would have to take the show off the air. And I think that would be very unfair to NBC. Recently, you've spent a lot of time talking about President Obama's birth certificate, or lack thereof. You don't seem convinced that he has one. No, I'm not convinced that he has one. I've had very smart people say, Donald, Stay on the China issue, stay on the Saudi Arabia issue, stay on the India taking our jobs and the Mexico, which is NAFTA, which Get off cleaned the birth out certificate New England. Issue. Get off the birth certificate issue. Why don't you? Because you know what? Three weeks ago when I started, I thought he was probably born in this country. And now I really have a much bigger doubt than I did before. But based on and, what? And you know what? His grandmother in Kenya said he was born in Kenya and she was there and witnessed the birth. Okay? He doesn't have a birth certificate, or he hasn't shown it. He has what's called a certificate of live birth. That is something that's easy to get. When you want a birth certificate, it's very hard to get. But it's considered, excuse me, considered excuse me. the equivalent. And in the it's state, not no, wait, the equivalent. In the state of Hawaii, they said they have Meredith, seen this document. It is evidence that he was born in the United States. That's good enough for them. Scholars have a looked at it. A birth certificate is not even close. A certificate of live birth is not even signed by anybody. I saw his. I read it very carefully doesn't have a serial number, doesn't have a signature. There's not even a signature. Do you and believe he's I'm lying? I'm starting to think that he was not born here. He Do you spent, believe listen, he's Meredith, lying, Donald? Come on, just Meredith, answer. he spent $2 million in legal fees trying to get away from this issue. And if he weren't lying, why wouldn't he just solve it? And I, w I wish he would, because if he doesn't, it's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. Jim. You are not allowed to be a president if you're not born in this country. He may not have been born in this country. And I'll tell you what, three weeks ago I thought he was born in this country. Right now I have some real doubts. I have people that actually have been studying it and they cannot believe what they're finding. You have people now down Absolutely. there searching, I mean in Hawaii? Absolutely. And they cannot believe what they're finding. I would like to have him show his birth certificate. And can I be honest with you? I hope he can. Because if he can't, if he can't, and if he wasn't born in this country, which is a real possibility, I'm not saying it happened, I'm saying it's a real possibility, much greater than I thought two or three weeks ago, then he has pulled one of the great cons in the history of politics and it, beyond politics. Do you consider yourself a Tea Partier? I think so. I'm very proud. I, yeah. I'm very proud of some of the ideas they put forth. And the big idea is they want to stop this ridiculous absolutely killer of spending that's going on. You've even said you're saying you're sending a team of researchers to Hawaii to take a look at uh, whether or not that is the case. Uh, Mr. Trump, I mean, this this has been debunked by so many people on so many levels, in, including uh, CNN. We did our own documentary. We've been to Hawaii numerous times speaking with people uh, not only who knew his parents but the the childhood school teacher the babysitter uh, young that has students who, to do with young students who knew him but but you that say has nothing to do you say yourself mr obama the that there's nobody who remembered him as a young child in hawaii and and we've spoken to those people who do remember him i want you to listen just take a listen here to what they say what they recall 
He was very funny. He was really um, warm, friendly, kind of a prankster. Smile, big smile. Lefty, a nice little left hand jump shot from the corner. And, you know, and nothing but net very often. So, Mr. Trump, I mean, in listening to people who are there in Hawaii who recall him as a boy, you, you say there was no one who recalled him from kindergarten or uh, from his young childhood on The View. There are people who are there who recall uh, him being born there. The governor says that he recalls him being born there. There is evidence that, that he's proven I, yeah. for it. I'm sure the governor really recalls him. I think the governor's taken a bullet for the party. Look, I didn't say that. It, you have to be born in the country. If he was three years old or two years old or one year old, and people remember him, that's irrelevant. You have to be born in the country. But you have no hospital records in any of the hospitals that he was born there. No bills, no room numbers, no nothing. They do have for other people, but they don't have for Obama. His grandmother in Kenya said that he was born in Kenya. Now, he could have been born, and she said it very strongly, that he was born in Kenya. And she was there when he was born. And the newspapers he, were a week late, so he could have been born in Kenya and gone over to the United States, and everybody wants to be a U.S. citizen, and his grandparents put an ad in saying that he was born in the United States because of all the benefits you get from Mr. being born in the Mr. United Trump, States. I, 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 I think CNN has not done a very no, good job. I have, to, I have to interrupt here because I know what you're talking about. I know the report you're talking about. Within that interview itself, it has been discredited. Uh, there is an interview that was done here, and uh, in the interview, Obama's step-grandmother says that she was uh, there when he was born. The interpreter uh, realizes when the questioner again asks him if he was born in Kenya that he, that she was misinterpreted, that that was not oh, correct. Oh, I see. Now we, it's a misinterpretation. Well, I mean, if you listen to the interview and you see the transcript here, it says, no, Obama was not born in Mombasa. He was born in America. The interviewer, the translator, asks again if this is uh, the whereabouts of what he was born. He thought he was born in Kenya. And he says, uh, no, he was born in America, not in Mombasa. Okay. So the, the information well, you know you about, the, about the Kenyan, uh, ab absolutely, but the Kenyan grandmother, that, sure. that report was disputed within the interview itself. And you're a man of, of uh, great credibility. I would assume that you would want to make sure that that, in fact, was the case. Well, you know, you have people that dispute what you're saying, and I say it with great respect. And by the way, I hope he was born in the United States. I'd like it to be, because if I decide to run... I would like to really do it on a very, very straight up, head-to-head, -head, man to man basis. I mean, honestly, I hope he was born. Because if he State of the Union with Candy Corley, CNN Sunday morning, 9 Eastern. We sat down with Donald Trump Friday at his offices saying we wanted to get past the birther issue. He said he preferred to talk about other things too, but 10 minutes later we were still on the subject. Next week, Trump on China, Libya, and OPEC. Today, Trump and the widely debunked doubts about where the president was born. Okay, let's get this out of the way because you have been making a lot of waves lately. You came loaded for bear with the birth certificate. You'll be happy to know I brought one as well. I mean, sorry, certi certification of live birth. It's good enough for the state of Hawaii yeah. and the State Department. Okay. U.S. State Department recognizes these as well, legitimately. It's not a birth certificate, Candy. And people are trying to figure out why isn't he giving his birth certificate. It's not a birth certificate. A certificate of live birth, and you can see that one that you have and the one that I brought you, because that's the one that's on the Internet and all over the place, it doesn't even have a serial number. It doesn't have a signature. It doesn't have a signature. One that I saw on television has a stamp, but that's not because a signature. It's a right, but it's a, that's how they Excuse do Excuse me, these. but that's not the one that they were showing to everybody. After it released a copy of the certificate in 2008, the Obama campaign said the serial number was blacked out for concern over Hawaiian procedure. Since then, many news organizations and the Annenberg Fact Check Project saw the original with the serial number, an embossed seal, and a stamped signature. Officials in Hawaii say this is standard. And I just say very simply, why doesn't he show his birth certificate? Why has he spent over $2 million in legal fees to keep this quiet and to keep this silent. When I listened today to the tape of the grandmother and she was saying he was born essentially in Kenya and then all of a sudden, don't forget, this is when Barack Obama was hot as a pistol because it looked like he was going to get the nomination and they had a lot of people, a lot of handlers in there and all of a sudden you hear people all over the room, no, 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 he was born in Hawaii, he was born in Hawaii. But she didn't but they say said that. it was a misinterpretation. Excuse me, they of that. drowned her out. She was like, there were a lot of people in that room. And she said, Kenya, he.
He was born right here. And then they started saying, screaming, no, 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 you mean Hawaii, you mean Hawaii. Here's a portion of that taped international phone call. Was she present when he was born in Kenya? Whereabouts, where, whereabouts was he born? I, I thought he was born in Kenya. Do you know where he was born? I thought he was born in Kenya. I was going to go by and see where he was born. You can hear the entire sometimes confusing conversation on our website, cnn.com slash SOTU. I don't like to talk about this issue too much because I really would rather talk about China. I would really rather talk about what OPEC is doing to destroy us. I would really rather talk about other things. But I'll be honest with you. I started this and I heard the question for the first time four weeks ago. And I assumed, although I had heard about it for years, I assumed that he was born in the United States, meaning in Hawaii. I assumed that. The more I go into it, the more suspect it is. Now, he doesn't have a birth certificate or he's not showing it. And I wish he did have one, but he doesn't have it. There's a huge difference between a birth certificate, and I can show you mine. It's upstairs, and it's in great detail, and it's certified by everybody, and it's got signatures all over it. It's got a birth certificate. He shows a certificate of live birth. And a certificate of live birth is easy to get, and it's not the same thing. It's a totally different thing. And in many states, a certificate of live birth, you can't even get married or you can't get a driver's license with it. The fact is, his own family doesn't know which hospital he was born in in Hawaii. And here's one other thing. Wherever you were born, I can go to that hospital, and I can find out the name of your doctor, the name of your, the number of your room, My how much you paid, anymore. excuse me, how much you paid, how much this, how much that. I can find the information. I can guarantee you, my hospital has all the information. How much my parents paid for that unfortunate day when I was brought into this world, this rather crazy world. But the fact is, nobody has any information. And his people in the United States don't even know which hospital, his relatives don't even know which hospital he was born in. So this, it's a very strange situation. That's all I can tell you. And you know, it's a very sad thing because the people, the birthers, they got labeled. And they got labeled so negatively. And even the word birther is a negative word. And I always tell people, I was a very good student. I went to the best college. I went to great schools. I'm, I have very high aptitude. Because if you come out and say, and even question, the press goes wild. They get angry at even the question. And the fact is, if he wasn't born in this country, he shouldn't be the president of the United States. In fact, two separate Honolulu papers published birth announcements, which Trump says he can explain. It was eight days later, after the supposed birth, it was eight days later, and many people that are on a certain side of this say his grandparents said they, were, they made the announcement. You're not talking about the same day. You're talking about eight days. A lot of things happen in eight days. Excuse me. And the grandparents put that in because obviously they want him to be a United States citizen. Because in those days, I mean, people were much more proud than they are today, unfortunately, for being a United States citizen. So they wanted him to be a citizen of the United States for, for that purpose and also for hospitalization, for welfare, for this, for that, for all of the other assets you get from being a United States citizen. So there are very smart people that say that's routinely done and that was done by his grandparents. I just, I just want to say Candy, and then we'll move on. eight days, excuse me, eight days later. Well, I, I think you could make a case for people that, uh, whose birth announcements show up later, but I will tell you that we checked with both these papers early on, not in, in, to this latest uh, when you brought it back to the headlines, but the, the, the fact is that the hospitals reported this information to the papers and the papers You're printed talking 50 it. years ago. Nonetheless, there is enough here that's going to keep, we're going to be talking about this 20 years from now. No, I can but you almost guarantee be. you. But Why? Here, here's my, I, I look, I'll leave it at this because I'd much rather talk about China. I'd much rather talk about OPEC. I'd rather talk about how all these countries are ripping us off and how they shouldn't be, and we can stop it easily. That's what I'd rather talk about. But I'll tell you, there's a real question, and even you say you're going to be talking about this for 20 years. You shouldn't be talking. Why doesn't he give his birth certificate? He says he has a birth certificate. 
And I hope he does. And by the way, you know who's going to be the happiest if he produced a birth certificate? A real birth certificate, not a certificate of live birth, which is not a birth certificate. I would be. I would be very happy. Somebody would say, oh, wouldn't that be bad for you? I said, absolutely not. I would be very happy if he produced a real birth certificate. So either they don't have one, which is very bad, or there's something on it that he doesn't want people to see. And I think that would be the lesser of two evils, no matter what's on it. Let me, let me give you another a conspiracy theory of a different sort, and that is from fellow Republicans who say, who don't, as you know, think this is a total losing issue for the Republican Excuse Party. Excuse me, 55 percent of the Republicans believe in this issue, and 70 percent think that there's at least a good chance he wasn't born in this country. On the other I hand... I don't think it's a losing issue. Well, it, it, if you could get elected just by Republicans, I guess that's so. But the, the, for, if you look at the totality well, of the country, you do you're have right. To go, you do so have this, to go step by step. This, right. This gets me to the conspiracy theory, that this is something that is an issue to the base of the Republican Party, and by that they mean voters who vote in the primaries, and that this is a cynical play to get their attention. By who? And to get, by who? Well, I don't that, think so. That by bringing this up and saying, hey, I'm thinking about running hey, for president, by the way, I don't think the president's really Let him show me really a birth point. certificate. How come nobody has any records of his hospitalization? They don't know his room number. They don't know the nurse. They don't know the doctor. Let him show me, or let not me, let him show a birth certificate. Uh, it's a problem okay. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Let Candy, me, let me try to move, the, move this on just because I know we could get engulfed in this. this is not a conspiracy on my part, believe me. And, and because I, I can also tell you that there are others in the Republican Party who say, I think he's trying to help the president because this sort of thing sounds crazy to those a lot of the country. Those are fools. And I don't think there are those people. I, I think anybody that would say that is a fool. I believe that this is a very bad issue for the president. I believe that there are a lot of very smart people, and I've had them call me, and I've had some say, yeah, get off that issue, Donald. You're better on China, okay? And you're better on the economy, and you're better on jobs, because that is my strength. They say, Donald, get off that issue. You're better on jobs, and you're better talking about the world, especially as it pertains economically, okay? And I agree. But you know what? A lot of very smart people are very confused by what's going on here, and they don't know why did he spend all this money, and they don't know why hasn't he given his birth certificate. Let me move and, on. And I think it's a very bad issue for the president, not for the Republican Party. And hey, welcome to Hannity. And tonight is part two of my interview with potential 2012 presidential candidate Donald Trump, who's been making headlines for the controversial rebukes that he has issued President Obama. And that's where we begin tonight. Let's take a look. A lot has been made over the birth certificate issue, um, and you apparently, you have said in, in, in previous uh, interviews that you have a team of investigators in Hawaii now looking into it. It's Correct. got a lot of press. Everyone's Correct. asking you about it. Right. And what have you come up with your investigators? Well, I don't want to say that now, but it's mm -hmm. going to be very interesting. But I don't want to say it now, Sean, but I will say this. I don't love this issue. I'd much rather be talking about how China is ripping us off, how OPEC's right. That's what I'm really good at. I understand it. I can do such a great job. But this issue came up about six weeks ago. And I've heard about it for years. But I never thought too much about it. Mm -hmm. And I assumed he was born in this country. But six weeks ago, I started really looking into it. He's got a certificate of live birth. That's, by the way, Despite what certain liberal press says, that's not a birth certificate. It's a big, big step lower. In fact, in some places, you can't get married or get a driver's license with a certificate of live birth, okay? Mm -hmm. So I say to myself, And it only has why? a stamp, no signature. It's got a stamp. It's got a stamp. It's, no, it's got a stamped signature. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have my birth certificate. I think I I'll show mine. it. I think I'm going to bring it down to Boca Raton this weekend. Okay. But I have mine. It's got stamps. It's got three different signatures. It's got everything. Everything's official. You have to see this thing. It's like... A certificate of live birth is not appropriate. Now, I say to myself, why, a few, just simple questions. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate, number one? You know, they say it's sealed. Well, but for the person, you can release it. If it's a person, you can release it. Sure, it's sealed. It should be sealed. That's great. But the person, you know, I, I actually sent to New York for my birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And they actually got on the phone. They said, Mr. Trump, I'm sorry to do this, sir. You have to give me your social security number. You have to prove it's really you I'm talking to, Papa. Mm -hmm. I went through a whole big thing. Okay, but when they figured out it was actually me, they sent it to me. I had to pay $38, and they sent me my birth certificate. Mm -hmm. They could do the same thing with him. And I say, 
Why did he spend millions of dollars on trying to stay away from this issue? Why doesn't he give his birth certificate? Well, the, the one thing on his side is that they had these announcements in the newspaper Means eight nothing. days after. Eight days later. Yeah. It was eight days. Look, he's got a grandmother in Kenya mm -hmm. who said he was born in Kenya at the hospital. Then there was bedlam in the room. Bedlam. I don't mean like a little, you know, because he was close to becoming president. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of people in that room. And he was being, she was be talking to a reporter with a lot of handlers, a lot of Obama handlers. So they have the grandmother, she said, Kenya. Then all of a sudden, 51 seconds later, he asked a question again. And you hear people scream, no, no, Hawaii, Hawaii. Hmm. Okay, give me a break. Now, the other one was eight or nine days later from the reported birthday. But you don't know if it was even the reported. But they could have easily come from Kenya or someplace. It's the, the issue thing. could go away in a minute. Just show the certificate. I don't understand. Why doesn't he show? Why did he spend millions of dollars on trying to stay away from the issue? Now, it's one of two things. Either he wasn't born in the country, or he doesn't have a birth certificate that, or, or there's something on the birth certificate that he doesn't want people to What do you think that could be? I don't know. I mean, maybe, it says, maybe it says he's Muslim, which wouldn't bother me. I mean, if, it, if it's that thing, you know, if, it, if that's it, it's it. It's what it is. He went to a Muslim I school in think, Indonesia. He hey, talks about studying the Quran. He hey, talks about one of the most beautiful moments being, you know, prayer time at sunset. Look, he was born Barry Sotero. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line he changed his name. I heard he had terrible marks and he ends up in Harvard. He wrote a book that was better than Ernest Hemingway. But it's John Hannity the other night, and you had some pretty strong words for uh, the Obama campaign. Uh, David Plouffe, who said some things about you. Eric Cantor uh, the other day said some things about you. He said you weren't very serious, and this birther thing makes you, means you're not serious. What do you have to say to him? Well, I was surprised to hear Eric Cantor. I don't know Eric Cantor, but I was actually surprised to hear him. Uh, I wouldn't say it was overly harsh, but he's not a believer in the birthers. And Frankly, I hate the name birthers. I think it's a derogatory term. There is something to it. There is something going on. Barack Obama has not been able to give a birth certificate. They don't have records of him in the hospital. His family doesn't know where he was born. His grandmother came out in Kenya, and she said very strongly he was born in Kenya. Then 51 seconds later, after all the handlers were going crazy in the room, something else was said. There's a lot of strange, even the newspaper articles, they were put in eight to nine, maybe 10 days later. So big deal, and you could put them in very easily. Not because he was going to be president, but because they wanted him to be a U.S. citizen for all mm -hmm. of the benefits of being a U.S. citizen. So people make it sound like it's a crazy conspiracy theory. I don't think so at all. You know, I always start off when I talk about the birthers by talking about what a great student I was and I went to a great school because the birthers have been so badly labeled, they're afraid to bring it up. Well, I've brought it up, and I've re invigorated that issue and I'm very proud to have done it and I think it's a very bad thing for Cantor to have done because I will tell you people love this issue especially in the Republican Party and there's something to what we're saying right a surprising new poll shows Donald Trump is the front runner among likely Republican primary voters beating Mike Huckabee by nine points and Mitt Romney by 11 points Great part about a guy with your resources that you were able to deploy people to go and find out what uh, is actually going on with Barack Obama's birth certificate. What did you find? Well, we're looking into it very, very strongly, and at a certain point in time, I will be revealing some interest. Have you got things. anything, though? Have what, you got what, anything? What? Even if you don't tell us what it is. Have you got something that suggests that Barack Obama was I not born in the United States? We're looking States? into it very strongly, and you will be very surprised. This is the other thing, though. Why wade into that debate if you do have a good argument about... Uh, get uh, about our country being lost, about questioning our foreign policy, about questioning our fiscal policy. Why not run on that? Why well, I, bring it? I think my strength is a good question. I think my strength is jobs, the economy, and protecting our nation from OPEC, China, and all these other countries that are ripping us off. That's my strength. The problem is, every time I go on a show, like as an example this morning, the first question you ask me is about uh, the birth certificate. So I go on a show, I want to talk about how we're going to salvage ourselves from losing $300 billion this year from China, and the person always asks, Mr. Trump, let's talk about the because birth certificate. It's, a non -starter. Because it's, a, it's, it's a ludicrous, non Mr. Trump. It's, it's, non it's, no, it's, it's just a ludicrous discussion. So if you don't want it handled, let's get it on the record right now that you believe Barack Obama was born in the United States. And I promise you, after this, no one at CNN will ever ask you this question again. I wish I could say that. 
I wish I could say that with certainty. It's possible that he was, but there's a big question as to whether or not he was. There are too many things. When I started this two months ago, and I heard about it for years, but when I started it two months ago, I thought he was. A at every day that goes by, I think so. I think less and less that he was born in the United States. He possibly was, but I want to get rid of the word possibly. If at some point you'd like to come on and settle the birther issue, uh, we can get down well, to talk about business, which I always enjoy. You have to stop asking me about a birth well, you no, gotta stop talking about. you got to stop talking about where the president's born if you don't want us to ask you, Donald you have Trump. have to stop asking me the question. We'll, a we'll stop asking you the question when you stop saying that President Obama can't prove that he's born in the United States. Deal? Is that a deal? That's fine with me. All right, Very good. One, we have one a deal. other quick question before we go. Do you know when this investigation in Hawaii is going to wrap up? When can you give a definitive answer, yes or no? Why about don't your you questions? ask me about OPEC? Why don't you ask me? Here we go. Again. You're not Let's investigating OPEC. Why don't OPEC. you people stop talking about this? <laughs> if you, if you, you investigate OPEC, we'll ask you I about OPEC. How's that? people would be very happy. My strength is OPEC. My strength is jobs in China. Uh, I only have one question about the whole birther stuff. I know you're tired of answering questions about it, uh, but let me just play for you what Karl Rove has said about you introducing this issue and get your response. If Mr. Trump, Donald Trump, can run his campaign any way he wants, if he wants to run down George Bush and ask for the Republican nominee, I don't think that's a winning strategy. And if he wants to base his entire campaign upon whether or not Barack Obama was really born in the United States, that's right. his privilege. I just think it's a losing strategy. And I think it's beneath him. Says it's a losing strategy and is beneath you. Look, there's a real question. 75% of the Republicans really think there is a question about it. 35% think he just wasn't born here, period. There's a real question. I know the numbers. I know the documents. What I see is not exactly good. So I'll just keep going. I don't have to listen to Karl Rove. I'll keep going. A lot of people have listened to Karl Rove. You know what he did? He gave us Obama because he gave Bush advice and look what happened. I mean, nobody, Abraham Lincoln couldn't have beaten Obama or any other Democrat after what happened with Karl Rove. So he doesn't have to give me advice. But, but you've been told very recently, Anderson, that the birth certificate is missing. I've been told that it's not there and it doesn't exist. And if that's the Who case, told you that? that's a big problem. I just heard that two days ago from somebody. From your investigators? or I don't want to say who, but I've been told that the birth certificate is not there, it's missing. Can you name even one person who your investigators have talked to? Just one. I don't you want don't... to do that. It's not appropriate right now. You can't say anybody who well, they've talked to? it's just not appropriate, Anderson. You wouldn't want to do that either if I asked you that same question. I mean, it just right now would not be appropriate. It's too soon. Do you actually, though, have investigators on the ground? Anderson, uh, I told you, and you made two statements at the beginning, 100% correct. It's 100% correct. Of course I do. Yes. Yeah. Jay, uh, my colleague Gary Tuckman just went to Hawaii and established again that there's evidence suggesting that the president, in fact, was born in the United States. But as you know, Donald Trump persists, other critics, and last night Trump was on CNN saying that he's been told the birth certificate is missing, uh, that it's either not there or has been taken out, taken out somehow, uh, and this is a problem for the president. When the White House hears this continued claim, what does it say? Well, Ed, I, I would say that we have a lot of problems confronting us. Uh, I think CNN uh, recently did a highly credible piece on, a, on an established fact, which is that the President was born in the United States of America. Uh, and, uh, you know, this was a settled issue. It is unfortunate that for uh, uh, whatever reason, that instead of focusing on our economy, on our continued joblessness in this country, on the need to reduce our deficits and get our fiscal house in order, on the need for a clean energy, uh, for an energy policy and for investments in clean energy technology, on the need for uh, an education uh, reform strategy that positions our children for the 21st century, on the, you know, I I uh, on the challenges that face us internationally, that this is the subject of that gets any kind of serious attention. I'll leave it at that. Last question on that, though. As part of that CNN story you mentioned, we noted that there's a certificate of live birth, which is considered in the state of Hawaii, settled, that he was born in the United States, period. However, Trump and others keep saying that that's not the actual birth certificate. And as you know, Hawaii, the Department of Health says that you can request a birth certificate. You put in a Freedom of Information request, and within a few weeks, you'll get a copy out of the vault. 
why doesn't the president do that? Is it because you believe it's a distraction from these other issues? Is it because he just I, thinks they'll keep moving the goalposts? Why? Well, what do you think, Ed? You're the president's president. Do you think they might keep moving the goalposts? You're the president's president. The, I'm the, asking you what you think. The, uh, it, it is a distraction, obviously. This is a settled issue. The, the birth certificate that the campaign put up online has been available for everyone to see around the globe. It's the same birth certificate you get uh, to get a driver's license. So if, if anybody who was born in Hawaii who asks for their birth certificate gets the same thing that we, this camp, the campaign and the White House has provided to, uh, to the press. So I, I just think this is a, um, it's, it's a distraction. And it's an unfortunate distraction from the issues that I think most Americans care about. I think it, anybody who is watching this exchange in the West Wing of the White House would be appalled, or most Americans would be appalled, that this is uh, what concerns us here, when in fact there are so many major issues that uh, are facing this country that need to be addressed by the President and by the Congress. And he's, that's what he's focused on. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Now, uh, let me just comment, first of all, on the fact that uh, I can't get the networks to break in on all kinds of other discussions. <laughs> I was just back there listening to Chuck. He was saying, it's amazing that he's not going to be talking about national security. I would not have the networks breaking in if I was talking about that, Chuck, and you know it. Uh, <laughs> 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 the, uh, uh, as many of you have been briefed, uh, we provided additional information today about uh, the site of my birth. Now, this issue has been going on for two, two and a half years now. I think it started during the campaign. And I have to say that over the last two and a half years, I have watched with uh, bemusement. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Uh, we've had every official in Hawaii, Democrat and Republican, every news outlet that has investigated this confirm that, yes, in fact, I was born in Hawaii, August 4th, 1961, in Kapi'olani Hospital. We've posted the uh, certification that is given by the state of Hawaii on the internet for everybody to see. People have provided affidavits that they, in fact, have seen this birth certificate, and yet this thing just keeps on going. Uh, now, normally, uh, I would not comment on something like this, uh, because obviously there's a lot of stuff swirling in the press at any given day, and uh, you know I've got other things to do. But two weeks ago, when the Republican uh, House had put forward a budget that will have huge consequences potentially to the country, and when I gave a speech about my budget, and how I felt that we needed to invest uh, in education and infrastructure and uh, making sure that we had a strong uh, safety net for our seniors, uh, even as we were closing the deficit. During that entire week, the, the dominant news story wasn't about these huge monumental choices that we're going to have to make as a nation. It was about my birth certificate. And that was true on most of the news outlets that were represented here. I went to New Hampshire yesterday and had a great time. It's an amazing state. While I was landing, just as we're touching down, I heard that President Obama had finally given his birth certificate. I was thrilled. I could not have been more happy. It was great. Seeing that he gave it was great, and I got a lot of credit. The media has given me a lot of credit. People have given me a lot of credit. Nobody else has been able to get him to release his birth certificate. I did. It really made me feel good. Now I can get on to what's happening with oil, what's happening with the economy, how OPEC is ripping us off, how China's taking our jobs, the kind of things I want to be speaking about. Now, the last time I was in Washington, you probably read something about it, I went to a thing called the Washington Correspondence Dinner. Has anybody ever heard of this thing? And I walked in, and the press went crazy. I was leading the polls. And by the way, when I decided that I maybe wouldn't do it, I was also leading the polls. I like leading the polls. 
But I was at the Washington Correspondents' Dinner, and the press was going wild. Will the president be speaking about you, Mr. Trump? Will he say anything? I said, I have no idea. Probably not, but I have no idea. So I'm with my wife, and what happens is the president starts. And in all fairness, he was very respectful and very nice. And he just kept speaking about Donald Trump. <laughs> and he kept going about the birth certificate, which, by the way, I got him to show. I got him to show. And nobody else could get him to do it. You know the Clintons wanted to do it, and they wanted him to show it. And McCain and everybody else wanted him to show it. And Trump got him to show it. Now, you know, I don't know exactly what he showed, but, you know. Someday, uh, somebody's going to figure that one out. It took a long time. So I go in, and he's speaking about Donald Trump for a big majority of his speech. And I'm knocking my wife under the table. I'm saying, honey, can you believe this? The president's talking about me. This is great. What an honor. What a great honor. It's great. I had a good time. And I sat there. I wanted to be a little stone-faced. I'm not going to be laughing and everything. But I, wa I was nice. I was cordial. But I'm telling Melania, isn't this great? The next day, I wake up, and about 90% of the papers said Trump was humiliated. I was so honored. 